Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to dual boot iOS 13 with iOS 15 on all your A11 and lower devices. I have only tested it with A9 and A10 and it worked perfectly fine. If you want to dual boot iOS 15 with iOS 14, the guide is in the description. We will be using dual rain which is a completely free software and you can get it for free from its official github page as you can see it right here while at the official github page we will be using the ios 13 branch to dual boot ios 13 i have tested it with dual booting ios 13.7 but i think that it should work with ios 13.5 or maybe 13.0 but again i have only tested it with 13.7 now guys for this video guide we will be dual booting this iphone 7 on ios 15.7.3 with ios 13.7 you can use a9 device meaning iphone 6s iphone se please keep in mind that with a10 devices or a11 devices the home button is currently at the time of picking this video is not working to fix it you will simply head to settings first on your main ios all right and then here search for assistive touch all right and then simply enable it from the main ios when you dual boot the assistive touch will be carried on to the dual booted ios this is awesome all right so on our device we are now prepared now guys before we even begin we will have to install some dependencies and some packages to make dual rain work so i made this dual rain easy install for all of you it is very easy to do just open it and you will get the install.sh file i will attach it into the description or pinned command for all of you it is a one click method to install everything required so while you are here right click and then open a new terminal then simply type this command sudo bash install dot sh press enter and type in your password if you have one press enter again and sit back and relax it will install everything for you all right guys once everything is properly installed you will see all done here now you can close out of it now the very next thing is to clone the ios 13 branch of dual rain so simply get to the official github page again and then you will see that we have this ios 13 branch so we will clone it it is very easy to do just copy the link from here all right now now you can head to downloads and then open a new terminal right here then type here git clone hyphen b and then type the name of the branch so for me and for you it is ios 13 now hyphen hyphen recursive and then now simply paste what you have copied then press enter and it will start cloning dual rain ios 13 branch all right wait for the process to complete now guys i again forgot to mention that shs with blobs and a jailbreak is not required for this method to work all right guys when the ios 13 branch of dual rain is cloned now we can close this terminal out and you will see the dual rain folder right here now guys the very next thing is that we will have to get the ios 13.7 ipsw file for our device so i will simply head to ipsw.me it is a completely free website and now simply select your device from here so i have this iphone 7 gsm version so select it according to your device now from here simply scroll down and get the ipsw for ios 
13.7 scroll down a bit and get it from here so as you can see I have this iOS 13.7 IPSW for my iPhone 7 so I will simply copy it from here and then I will go to the jewelry folder I will see this IPSW folder I will just simply paste it here all right guys so we have copied the file now go back and now connect your device via USB now guys simply open a new terminal here here type the command sudo space dot slash dual boot dot sh hyphen hyphen dual boot and the version you want to dual boot so i want to dual boot ios 13.7 now guys if you want to dual boot ios 13.7 or ios 13 it is important to disable the passcode on a9 a10 and a11 devices this is only for ios 13 dual booting if you are dual booting ios 14 a9 passcode can be set but again you have will have to disable on a10 and a11 all right so now let's begin now simply press enter here and now it will start creating a ram disk so wait for this to complete all right guys after the ram disk is done your device must go to recovery mode immediately and then to gfu now guys if you see this error please don't worry Control C to break the operation and then get your device into GFU mode manually first. So I'm getting it to GFU now. All right, so my device is now in GFU. Now press the up arrow and simply rerun the command. And now it will proceed and wait it for it to extract the IPSW's contents. And then it will start downloading some files. So wait for this process to complete. All right, here, as you can see, it is now booting the RAM disk that it has created. So wait for this to complete entirely. Now, guys, at this stage, it will take about 20 to 25 minutes. So please wait patiently here. And then it will extract some files here it will again take about 10 to 15 minutes all right guys now your device will go into recovery mode and then we will get it into gfu by simply following the instructions on screen so just press the buttons so that it goes into gfu mode all right so my device is now in gfu the rest of the process will complete it will boot the ram disk now now guys here it will prepare the dual boot for ios 13 so please be patient here at this stage we will get it into gfu mode again now guys at this point your device will boot the dual booted ios 13 now guys at this point you'll see a bar running beneath your apple logo on your device now please set it up as you usually do this is for the very first time once it is complete i will show you all right guys as you can see i have successfully dual booted ios 13.7 on this iphone 7 and as i said on a9 the home button is working but on a10 and a11 you will have to use assistive touch or you can install some tweak to enable iphone 10 gestures all right now the good thing is that if you want to go to the main ios you can do so without a computer just simply restart the device back you will be on the main ios version for your device now guys to boot back to the dual booted ios version you will have to use a command let me show you how now guys to get to the dual booted ios version for me for this video it is ios 
13 so I will open the dual rent folder then right click here then open a new terminal and then I will simply type a command sudo dot slash dual boot dot sh hyphen hyphen and boot press enter type in the password if you have one your device will go into recovery mode now and then get it into dfu now guys this command will boot your device into dual booted ios version so you simply wait for the command to complete all right guys you will see verbose and then your device will boot back into the dual booted ios version then guys like so you will be back to the dual booted ios version as you can see it right here here you can see that you can use various commands with dual rain you can see the list here to remove the dual booted ios version you can use hyphen hyphen restore root fs also to jailbreak ios 13 you can use odyssey from the official github page of dual rain as you can see it right here you will get this ipa from here and then use it to jailbreak ios 13 once again guys if you want to dual boot ios 15 with 14 the guide for that is in the description for you that's all for this video guys happy dual booting please take care of yourself i will see you in a new video goodbye